What's going on guys, Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new team of the season moments card to review and it is going to be Kulazewski. He's a card that is looking really nice. He's got 94 pace with 93 dribbling, 90 shooting, 86 passing with 83 physicals. He's a 6 for one player with high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. I would have liked a 5 star weak foot or 5 star skill moves on this card but hey, it is what it is. Now the chem style, the hawk is what I've gone for. I'm believing in those dribbling stats. Well, if he doesn't feel good in game, I'm 100% going to go ahead and switch him to the engine chem style. But yeah, we're starting off with the Hawk chem style. The pace with the Hawk is insane. 99 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. The shooting ability with the Hawk chem style looks disgustingly good. He has got 98 attacking positioning with 96 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 88 volleys with the 83 penalties. He hasn't got shooting traits, but it is what it is. The passing ability, I mean, it looks pretty good for a winger, right? It doesn't look anything insane. Like the 82 long passing looks okay. It's just everything else there looks quite solid. The dribbling ability, as I told you guys, I'm believing in those dribbling stats. Hopefully, he is going to feel good in game. He has got 93 agility with 90 balance, 91 reactions, 94 wall control, 93 dribbling with 91 composure. And if we are taking a look at his physicals, 90 jumping for a six foot one player is very good. It's just his heading accuracy being at 57. Yeah, that's not anything amazing. He's got 93 stamina with uh, 88 strength and 83 aggression. Now, the links. The links are a little bit weird because you can get a strong link with someone like Harry Kane, which is very, very solid. But then you get a hyperlink with Lomberg. But the issue is Lomberg's on the other side. He's in that left mid position. So, like, one of them is going to have to be off chemistry. You can get a link with, like, Lucas Moura, but one of them is going to be off chemistry as well. I definitely do feel like if you have Kulusevski in your team, most likely you have got Prem players around him or you've got icons around him. As simple as that. Now, positions. Two positions. The striker position and the winger position. Let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. Into Oxa, into Kulusevski. That's a nice little dummy. Good ball roll as well. Go for a few turns. See how he feels on the ball. He's not feeling bad. You can clearly see his ball control is very good. Go on. We rolled that away. Nah, I knew he took a bad touch right at the end there. And as soon as I saw Vieira, I knew we was going to lose the ball. Ronaldo, give me a passing option. Or Kulusevski, doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for a green time finesse shot. And it's just going to go wide. He took that touch, by the way, really, really well. Like, I didn't expect him to go for that 180 turn that quick. And it wasn't a bad shot. It's just... Yeah, it wasn't an amazing shot, was it? Driven that straight into Ronaldo. Kulusevski is already making a run. I'm going to go for that through ball. Let me see if I can maybe beat this guy for pace. Keep it going. There you go. Well played. I'm going to go for this. This is not like a hard angle. And he ends up missing it on that stronger foot as well. Like he's got what? I think it's 96 finishing. And he misses that. Come on. Can I scoop it around? I can. Kulusevski made a very aggressive run. I think he is on side. And Allison ends up saving it. I'm telling you guys. There's something about this team of the season, Allison. Like he just pulls out some crazy saves that I don't expect him to pull out. Like, that usually goes in that chips uh, player cycle of Reese. And that's red timed, and it was very close. We should get a goal, right? Yeah. I'm going to send him in for a run, try to use his pace to get him behind. Early fake shot. Go for the green time finesse shot. And we end up hitting the crossbar. Bro, I'll scoop it through the middle. Well played, Ronaldo. Ball roll out again into Kulovzeski. He, he easily, easily gets past. This is a hard angle. That's going to count as an own goal, isn't it? That is going to count as an own goal. Like that ball roll around the keeper. Perfect. It was such a hard angle. Oh, we didn't. Wait, that didn't count as an own goal? Really? Go on, Ronaldo. Keep it going. There you go. Ali's made a good run as well. Tap it into Kulusevski. Volley. Oh, my God. That was great passing play, though. But, yeah, Allison. Wow. Trying to get this into the inside. There you go. That's a good run. Give it across to Deli Ali. First time that into Kulusevski. Nice lack of Keta. Nice skill move to get away from the players. I trusted in that full star week, but just to see if it was going to be a good shot and the shot isn't that great. Flick that on, Foden. There you go. You should easily get onto it. This is against who? Virgil van Dijk. We're going to go for it. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get around the corner. Nah, look at the strength. Oh my God. We got pushed off the pitch. Completely off the pitch. Like Virgil van Dijk's strength is just too much. Go on, Ronaldo. Win that. There you go. That's a good run from Kulusevski to come over. Ball roll. Get in front of Virgil van Dijk. And he tackles through us. For me, that's a penalty. 
Go for a fake shot there. Kluzewski has made a good run. Come on, just get in front of him. There you go. We'll roll that. Chip it over. Ronaldo versus Virgil van Dijk. And Ronaldo ends up winning it. Extra pass into Son. Extra pass into Kulusevski. Nice Lacroqueta. Good touch. Look at the dribbling. You see what I mean about his dribbling? Like, this is without the engine chem style. He's feeling nice on the ball. And what a finish. Into the space. Kulusevski once again coming over from the other striker position. Go on. Go on. No. No way we can't even get this shot there with Ronaldo. He did so well to get round, uh, round Varane. That is something I am definitely noticing that he does very, very well. I'm going to give it into his feet there. There you go. I am noticing his movement, by the way, in that striker position. And he is a very, very aggressive striker. Like, he loves to get in behind. Go on, let's go for a long shot here. We end up yellow timing. It doesn't get past the first player, and we can't get a rebound. Into Ox. Good turn into Kulusevski. Go for 180 there. Not the quickest 180 turn. And it allows Varane just come over and put in a very good tackle. Very poor 180 turn. Very poor. I see a run getting made all the way at the top. I'm going to go for it just to see if he's able to play that pass. And look at that four pass. Full roll scoop it. See what I can maybe do here. Go for an elastico. Pass it into the inside to Ox. Over to Ronaldo. Nice skill move. And we've got the angle. And look at Ronaldo. I'm telling you guys, this team of the season, Ronaldo, is a joke. But what a pass from Kulusevski. Good turn, Foden. Kulusevski's already trying to make a run. It would have been a crazy pass if uh, Foden wrapped that around Ruben Diaz because Kulusevski would have been in. But you see what I mean about his movement? Like, he's always trying to make a run. He's so aggressive. Can I get around him with Mane? I'm going to go for an early ball roll scoop. Good driven pass. Go for a few turns, him with a roulette and just hit it towards that near post with that four-star weak foot. And he ain't going to miss from there. We'll roll this, go for a driven, roulette it for absolutely no reason. But we are going to go for this pass. And look how perfect that is. I was not expecting those passes with him, by the way, to be that good. Like, he's got 82 long passing, but it seems like he's got way, way higher. And I'm trying to find an angle into the inside here. Kulusevski, nice option. I could have... Probably took that in with him. And then I tried to give it to Ronaldo there. And he goes to the wrong player. He's going to push towards me. He probably is. So I'm just going to hit it over to Ronaldo. Good run. Accelerate into the space. We'll roll that. Trying to get around the keeper here. There you go. Go for a few dribbles. We'll roll that again. Shot can... No, that was meant to be a shot can. We got it. We got it in the end. It we took our time there. We definitely took our time. I've called Kulazewski short. And I am going to go for this tactic let's see if it's going to work out is he going to read it he hasn't read it hold on a second get in front of him go for a green time finesse shot and it's going to go in his long shots are very good Kluzewski just sitting there waiting for the ball this time I'm going to go for this because why not and it's just going to go above I did definitely mistime it so yeah I wasn't expecting it to go in that's a good run from Foden pass it quickly there you go Take the burp spin out. Go for a ball roll. Use your pace to maybe get around Virgil van Dijk. He does that so well. He does that so well. Just accelerating into the space. Getting in front of defenders. And just holding them off. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing five games with Kulusevski and we scored six goals in those five games. And we also came out with two assists as well. Now, the first thing I do want to talk about is the pace. The pace on this card is insane. You guys saw multiple times. I was just giving him the ball and accelerating around players for fun. See so yeah, the pace? Loved it. Shooting ability. Outside the box? Very good. Inside the box? Hmm. Not anything like outstanding, especially on that four-star weak foot. The four-star weak foot was was a uh, very awkward, let's say, where sometimes it would go in, but then other times it would be like a very poor shot. So yeah, shooting inside the box, nothing outstanding, but still good. But long shots, amazing. Passing ability, incredible. I was not expecting his long passing to be that good. Like you see it's 82 and you're like, okay, it's going to be decent, but it's not going to be anything top tier. But then you look at some of the passes he was doing and you're like, hold on a second. That does not like that does not look like 82 long passing. No chance here. The passing ability, I was really happy with it. The dribbling ability, the ball control on this card. The ball control on this card is insane. But the 180 turns, they are very, very slow. And yes, you can make it faster with the engine chem style, but with how good his long shots were. I was like, listen, I can deal with that dribbling ability if the long shots are that good. So I still feel like the Hawk Kems, though, is the way to go. It's just, yeah, you definitely are going to notice his sharp turns and 180 turns not being the greatest. And the physicals. I mean, the jumping ability was good, but like the heading accuracy, 
was terrible. So, like, once he got to the header, it wasn't anything amazing. Uh, the stamina, solid. Strength, very, very good. As I said to you guys multiple times, I was just accelerating past players, ball rolling in front of the player and just holding them off. And the aggression, it's uh, it, it, not anything outstanding when it comes down to the aggression. I saw a little bit of fight, but not too much. Now, the price, 160k. Not bad. Not bad at all. 160k is actually pretty good. The thing is, though, when a player like Saka, team of the season, is going for free, aka he's the objective card, yeah, it's a weird one. For me personally, I do prefer Saka over this uh, over this card. I do. Saka's dribbling ability is much better than this Kulusevski card. Much, much better. So yeah, for me, I would st I would take Team of the Season Saka over Kulusevski. But at the same time, I don't think 160k is bad pricing. I do believe that is nice pricing from EA. Now, where does he go? In the attacker's tier list. It's a hard one, isn't it? It is very hard because he's 100% not S tier. A+. plus. Gelson Martins is in the A+. Plus. We see players like uh, Rashford as well, Foot Fantasy. We see players like Foot Hero, Captain Cole in the A+. Plus. I don't think Kulusevski is on that level. So Kulusevski is going to go into the A tier. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.